He's George. He's Jack. And we're going to be trying Cuba's cheapest cigars. Oh, yeah. Right, we have been to our local tobacconist today, and as yeah. a popular demand, we have been asked to do, ever since we did our least expensive British cigar video, we are now doing the cheapest, we are now going to do it for Cubans. So we went out, didn't we, and we found some cheap ones. We're not doing the same thing again. It's not, we have plenty of ideas, we're not running low, and we're going to be trying, <laughs> oh, ready to pop this open? Oh, I didn't get a knife. Some cheap Sorry. cigars. Which one do you want to do first? I'd say let's do this one. The what is it? Quintero, if that's pronounced correctly. Let's see. The Quintero Havana. So again, all of these proper Cubans all came from our local shop. This one was the cheapest. How much did we pay? Do you remember? Seven pounds ninety-five pence. Seven pounds ninety-five pence. Which for a cigar for a Cuban is pretty cheap. And I'd say it's, and it's a decent size. size. It's, yeah, it's a decent size. That's a decent size. It's got a I'm nice quite excited to try all these. It's got the right smell to it as well. So am I, because you know it's nice and yeah, just do it in the in the ash tray. In the ash tray. Oh, nice clean cut as well. So this give is what we're going to be doing. Shout. We'll give them a show. I'll let it focus. Make go. sure they can actually see the, the label. So yeah, and it, yeah, and the Quintero Cuban. So I've never heard of the brand. Habana. Never thought of trying them. I've never really. I don't actually them. think Habana is the actual name. Oh I no. Can't say. I, I can't remember. What? Yeah. Probably take it. Oh, it smells oh. quite strong. Oh. Well, it's a medium, isn't it? Medium it's bodied. A medium bodied cigar. It'd be alright. We're all, we're all still learning. What sort of shitty lighter is it? Oh, that's got a real punch to it. Be with you just <laughs> that is a real blow that's going to hit you straight away Good. I mean to be honest it's just your standard Cuban it's earthy it's strong I some that's not bad it's nice if you've never tried one before it's the kind of thing to get you into a Cuban it's like it's just that that musky sort of taste. But no, it's, it's, it's all right for a cheap Cuban. It tastes a lot like my uh, my Monte Cristos. Yes. The miniatures. Yes, I'll go with that. The thing is with Cuban is they're all, they're all very similar, I find. Similar. Yeah, which I reckon we'll find. But there is one in that box I've been wanting to try for a long time. Is there a toy? I do apologise. We have some technical difficulties known as Barney. Inside? No. Hey! Hey, boy! What are you doing? I think he's got a taste for him now. You know what? One day he's going to start wearing suits and smoking cigars. But yeah, for £7.95. <laughs> Fucking disaster. Come on. Barney. Got those two twice as loud. We're going to have to go somewhere else. And we're back. We haven't we had changed location. We have not changed location. We've just like done some gardening. We've moved the background. It wasn't anything to do with howling dogs or neighbours. Um, we built a fence. Yeah. We're going to be trying these weird looking things next. They are called the La Flor de Canyon. I've never heard... Oh yeah, she told us to unwrap them. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly. So, it's a normal cigar, but it comes wrapped in this wood... Like... Film. Thing. Film, yeah. It's the weirdest things. I think these were about nine quid, I want to say. Yeah, nine like... to ten pound, around that. So a little bit more prices. I hope we get a bit, something a bit more out of them. 
Are they a pain in the ass? A little bit. That is. That is kind of weird. Oh, that comes out beautifully. Look at that. Beautiful. No smell. I've got a little hint of a smell. It's a very different smell. Though. I can't like describe it properly. Not much. Like the other one, but a little bit weaker. It's a faint smell. Faint. Very faint. First thoughts? Oh. God, that smells like a burning candle. Oh, strong. Hell. Oh my god, this is flaky as shit. Um, We've literally just bought these. That just goes to show that they're not that amazing. Oh my god, they're flaking like mad. We'll just we'll, <laughs> we'll just get the the spitting out. <laughs> yeah, we'll cut the spitting out. There's no real taste to it. There's a slight hint at the end, but like there's nothing. Yeah, the original bit is weakish. Weak as something. Weak as Nan's piss. It's just not good. It's weird, isn't it? It's got like nothing to it. It tastes like how. It tastes like how a cigar would taste if you lit it with like one of them cheap ass lighters. It kind of takes me back to something like that, like a really poorly lit. It's just nothing. Yeah, it's pretty neutral, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't taste like a Cuban, put it that way. Like, when I smoke a cigar, and this is a medium, well, supposedly, when I smoke a cigar, I like to feel something. Yeah. You know, a little, little, like, kick at the back of the throat. Yeah, yeah a little tingle. Thing. But this is nothing. And at first I thought it was a bit sweet, but then I think that was just... I don't know what that was. It's not sweet, and it's not hard-hitting, it's just... Yeah, very neutral. So if you want to look, say neutral. So if you don't like smoking cigars and you want to look like Mr. Big Bollocks, basically, smoke this. Smoke this. Maybe you meant to smoke it with the wood. That's where the flavour comes Shit, from. Shit, maybe. The wood is flavoured. The flavour has sunk. Just It's been absorbed by the wood. <laughs> I mean, you spit on it. <laughs> That's not my fault, is it? You disgusting <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, no, I really hate them that much. No, no, they're, 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 there's just nothing to it. That's really weird. That it's like, not. It's not. Just, don't get us wrong. It's not bad. No, well, but it's not good. For our last one, it's something that I've been rather excited to try, and somehow me and George in our cigar smoking careers have never tried one to this day. You never come across it, which I'm sure you would have heard of the notorious Bolivars. Now you might be thinking. Hey, I know Bolivar. It's a Bolivar number three. Number three. And you might be thinking, wait, I've heard of Bolivar, they're not cheap. Correct. But their prices vary. These were about £10, but there are some that go for 35 some that go for 100 But this is like the cheaper one, and it's in a tube, which I like. It's not Keep a very, it. uh, it's not, it's, a, it's, it's one of the thinner cigars. It's one of the thinner ones, but that's, you know, that's where the price will come from. You're not going to get something fucking fat that's decent for under a tenner. So this is the, the top end for but us. Beautiful, though. Beautiful. I love. I, I love. I do love the packaging. But it's yeah. They, I they do look prefer lovely. it when cigars and come in tubes. I do. And if I you've never smelt one, the smell of these. It's unreal. I, I love the smell. <laughs> it's just a really sweet, nice tobacco smell. It really is. Not like a like, like a pipe tobacco sense, but like a different kind of sweet. It's just really, really nice. Yeah, I did that really good. And I've been really looking that forward cut, to this. That cut beautifully as well. Yeah. Just, it just... Ooh. Yeah. See? Don't yeah, like, like, want to like works. the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What word? I can't remember. There's a word that they don't use in America that we use as an offensive thing. I think it might be twat. Is it twat? I think it's twat. Maybe. I think it might be twat. Oh. That is a lot better. Oh. I knew I was looking forward to these, and I knew it was for a damn good reason. 
Now that's got some. That is a Cuban. That's where the hype is. See, personally, even though we get Cubans over here, I think that they're overhyped. I absolutely agree with that. I think, I that, I think our Nicaraguan um... is a much better experience. And Honduras, they are cheaper. And oh my god, the taste is amazing. But it's like with them, none of them will work. We wouldn't have any of them. Because oh. whenever, when some, whenever someone thinks of cigars, they think of, you know, Cubans. Yeah. These are full-bodied. So these are some strong motherfuckers. You don't want to jump straight in on one of these. No, these are like... These will give you a real blow to the head. That to me is a Cuban taste. That's, it's got a nice... It's just a, that's a nice taste. They're lovely. For a... For a, a you know... A... I wanted to get the 35 quid ones for a long time. I mean, we've gone into a different shop and they've had these little... And these were what? I want to say 11 quid? Or I... £10.95, something like that. Yeah. For about a tenner. And I think it was just over a tenner. It's strong, but a real nice smoky taste. It's just really pleasant. Really pleasant on the palate. You've got no it nasty doesn't feel that back. strong to me. I can tell that they would be. Like, if you were to smoke Yeah, you thing. can sort of... But... You know, that, that is genuinely very pleasant. That like, is. Yeah. That to me is what a Bolivar is what a Cuban is. I never tried one, but you see them posted everywhere, you know. It's what you think of, really. It's yeah. what you think of. Bolivar and a Cohiba. But that is beautiful. Oh, look, I've lit mine a bit funny. So our first one is Quintero. That got a six. The one after, whatever it was. Uh, La Flora di... La Flora di... di Cano. I don't know if it's French. Um, and then that second one got like what, like a five? five. I think I gave it a five. These would be a solid eight and a half, nine. Eight half, nine. I'd agree with that. That I could happily buy these again and enjoy it. It's just that that's what it takes me to. It's just a genuinely very nice cigar. I, I, yeah. You can feel it strong, but there's like a tiny bit at the back of your throat. You can tell it is strong, but. So that get yeah that gets a solid at eight out eight and a half to nine. If you're gonna go cheap and you've got like all the sort of resources that we have here, and you want something cheap but nice, I'm definitely cheap, getting nice these again. Cuban. I'm getting these again. Bolivar number three. Well, any of them I would have thought they would all be decent, but this is but, the cheapest one they have. But look out for a Bolivar. You can really enjoy. But it. for probably I think this is the most expensive one. But yeah, for just a tad barely. bit more, it's tad worth. More. For a tad bit more, it's worth it. Absolutely. Bear with me. Oh, it's all right. We're not doing a video or anything. You twat. Oh. Anyways, in conclusion, it's good. <coughs> Excuse me. In conclusion, the Bolivar number three is the best. The other two are shit. Just that's it. Just not great. That's it. That's it. Um, that's what you want to go for. Cuba does have good cheap cigars. Even under ten pounds, they're all right. So that proves you don't have to spend that much to get a decent cigar. Exactly. We have been the Havana Gentlemen. We thoroughly, thoroughly hope you enjoyed, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> You're a man of many words. <laughs> that really touched me to my heart. You know, you're welcome. To the bottom of my cock. <laughs> and together, we make the, the Havana, Havana Gentlemen. Gentlemen. I hope you had a good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure. That'll be us. Well, <laughs> they'll be shooting off. Well, we're shooting off. Right. Them cigars are bloody lovely. May God be my witness. Oh, I've already gone, mate. Sorry. Oh, you've already gone. Right. Sorry. Latest.